I'm Ian. I'm a scientist at BioBus. Welcome to our third Explored Home Weekly Challenge. Today I'm going to show you how to attract birds to your home, identify them, and capture photos of them. Your challenge is going to be to capture as many photos of different bird species as you can. You can submit your data on our Explored Home website. Check out the link below. I also like, like to capture birds. <laughs> Not like this. More like this with photos and videos. If you want to be able to take pictures of birds, first you have to get them close to you. Start out by going to your recycling bin and finding a container like this, or like this, or like this, or like this. In order to get birds to your house, you need to get some food too to attract them. Birds like things like lentils, seeds of any type, oatmeal, Flax seeds, another seed, rice, couscous, even pasta. But if you're going to do pasta, make sure you really smush that pasta up. Here are a few things that you shouldn't feed birds. My windowsill is pretty small, so I like to get a little bit of tape, attach it to the bottom of that container, and tape it to the windowsill so it doesn't blow away. You got to be careful here because if a container blows out the window, that could be pretty disastrous for someone below. So I've got my tape, and I'm just going to go ahead and put it right on the windowsill. Now, just wait. And be sure to get a picture of the birds once they come to your feeder. Usually, they won't show up in the first day, though. I like to use this app. It's free. It's called Merlin Bird ID, and it's available on iPhones and Androids, and it'll help you identify the birds that you see coming to your window. All right, good luck, and bird safe. Oh, and one last thing, don't forget to bring your seeds indoors if it's raining, because otherwise they can get moldy.